Greetings, welcome to another episode of Ambassador 5, a series where we showcase the best of Caribbean music and culture and highlight ambassadors who are promoting our culture to the rest of the world. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking to Miss Belinda Bishop, who's in charge of a very creative initiative called Flavors of Grenada. competition um, called the Flavors of Grenada Virtual Mixology Competition and we've kind of highlighted it and called it the spirit of Grenada. So a lot of our mixologists, the last four, are going to be uh, showcasing some real creative cocktail and we're going to choose a winner um, to be the Flavors of Grenada Virtual Mixology Champion. But it's going to it's going to be really exciting, we're going to take some really exciting stuff. We're utilizing a lot of local flavor and a lot of fruits, vegetables, spices, because we're in the Spice Island, of course. So we have to introduce the spice. <laughs> so with all the craziness of, of COVID and so forth, what was the inspiration for doing a virtual mixology competition? Well, good question, Ira. Well, what happened is every year we have it um, live and in person. We have a great a grand festival called the Flavors of Grenada food and beverage festival and it takes place in May usually when all our foods are pretty much booming and coming into season you know even the lobsters are still in season so we have a mixology competition and a culinary competition but um, the other things happened this year where <laughs> mm -hmm. we couldn't gather that many people um, so we kind of just had to pivot you know like everybody is pivoting these days to into something a little bit different and that could kind of go with the times. And so that's how it happened. I said, as soon as they went on shutdown, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have a virtual competition because the bartenders and the chefs were still um, excited about, you know, participating. So I was like, well, this is how we can, I think that we can do it. And so um, boom, it was created. That's what, what was created. And, and um, so far we're having a lot of fun with it. And we got to, I think, bring it to the rest of the world, which is really um, exciting for us because usually it's just right here in Grenada and people have to fly in and, you know, fly able to partake of all the um, action and the fun. But now we, got, we had the opportunity to be able to ex expose it to the rest of the world to see it virtually. And so I'm excited about that. That should bring more people next year if we're not doing virtual. If we're doing right. it full, yeah, people come to visit us, I hope. <laughs> and, um, COVID free, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's really great, right? Because now this is an opportunity for brand awareness and people who may have never even considered it now have access, so it's really good. But Belinda, for people who may not be familiar, tell us what is Flavors of Grenada? Well, F Flavors of Grenada is a movement, really. Um, it's about um, sustainability and um, kind of focusing on uh, our local agricultural and agriculture and um, all the flavors that we have here. Um, and so it's art, music. It's not just food, right? It's art, music, um, wine, um, culture, basically. Culture, right. <laughs> right, right. So, Flavors of is just not one thing. It it's encompasses many things. And everything that we have here in Grenada is pretty much what it is. And so, um, you know, we do things here, we do things globally across the world, New York, Toronto, um, Texas, um, and in, you know, Holland, uh, Amsterdam. But mainly, um, it's all to get people back to Grenada to see what we have to offer here. Because we have Grenadians all over the world. Right. So, uh, celebrate um, art, wine, music, culture, everywhere we go. Grenadian culture. <laughs> Yeah. Regarding the um, the culinary event that you guys usually have, around what time of year is it? Is it around the same time as this same competition would have been? It's actually into the, it's usually in May. Mm -hmm. It's just before the Taste of the Caribbean, actually. We right. go right. from this competition straight into the Taste of the Caribbean uh, competition. Um, and it's in May because of, of what we have to offer in May in Grenada. It's a lot of, um, it's food month for us. We have our chocolate, uh, chocolate festival. Yes, right. Yeah. 
and um, then we have our wine festival also in that month and so I've kind of um, kind of put it all together because our mangoes are in season, our golden apples in season, our French cashews in season, our spinach are in season. So we have a lot of great things that are in season that can be utilized in our food and our drinks. So I kind of like focused on having it in May every year. And I also centered around Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. um, you know, in the U.S. because I'm trying to encourage um, people to come and have a long holiday right here with us. Yeah. Okay. As so you were saying, we're going for to you come before, um, I know like one of the things that we focus on on To Be Caribbean is how artisans build their brand. You know, we really focus on the marketing side of it. So just curious as to what makes the flavors of Grenada brand stand out and what are one of the biggest challenges you had with building your brand? Well, what I think, um, it's, it, I, I started this about five years ago, right? Um, it started off really small, me slapping art around and me trying to get people to eat healthy. It was very hard. Right, <laughs> um, I'm sure. It was, my, it was my, one of my biggest challenges and that's what we promote. Um, healthy awareness, healthy eating, utilizing the flavors that we have in, in Grenada to, um, to sustain ourselves and, and items that we have here. But when COVID came, Everybody wanted to get on the, um, the build your immune system um, bandwagon. So I kind, <laughs> right. of, I kind of like now have been catapulted um, from what I've been saying for the past four and a half years. I kind of catapulted me um, now into a, a great position because this is exactly what we should have been doing and what, we, what we're going to be doing. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited to, to change the lifestyle um, of some people or adjust the lifestyle um, of some of the people. And um, so we can you know, eat healthy. Because my, my grandmother, my great grandmother, they they lived to be in their hundreds. And mm. what was different, you know, was what they ate. And so um, I always said that, I was preaching that for like years. And now here, here we are, um, where we have to really take better care of ourselves and, and our bodies and what we what we put into it. And so um, instead of a lot of preservatives, because in Grenada, there is a huge, um, soil is so beautiful. Um, so fertile, you could just throw a seed out. Um, I literally have done this, um, not intentionally, but I've thrown, <laughs> I've thrown a papaya seed out in my yard. And I, I think I went to, uh, I went on a vacation, came back, and there was a papaya tree there when I came back. <laughs> That's so amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Like like, so now, now the tree is about um, eight, oh, eight or nine feet tall. It's been about a um, year and I think um, 18 months. And I, I had my first papaya from it this past season. And I was like, wow, it's so amazing here. And we have we have so much to offer as far as that, where we can just go out into our, into our gardens and pick our food. And um, that is, um, I think, an amazing thing. And I focus on, on that because I think that if we all had a little garden, you know, right. yeah. Um, Foods, we would have food security. We would be, we would be in an okay place. Everyone would be a lot healthier, um, and we don't we have to be going to the supermarket so often. So, here in Grenada, a lot of farms have popped up over this past uh, three month period. It's quite mm -hmm. amazing. So agriculture is now trending. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's cool right now. Yes. Uh, and I'm and I'm enjoying, like I said, enjoying bringing all the agriculture that we have. Let everybody know that. This is something that we have here that they have in other places, but um, that's what you can come to Grenada for. Right. Um, a real, not just, you know, the fine, the finest um, wines or the, the great art, but you can come here and get great, great food. And right. drink. Can you expand so on that a little bit more? Like what differentiates Grenada from the rest of the Caribbean, much less if not the world? Well, I think that what might differentiate us just a little bit is exactly what I mentioned, is, is, is throwing the seed out. <laughs> but also um, in Grenada, it was called um, the Isle of Spice or the Spice mm -hmm. of the Caribbean, if you will. And there's so many different spices, everything you can ima imagine, cinnamon, nutmeg, co um, cocoa, ginger, um, uh, lemongrass, um, cerise. We, I was just having this conversation like maybe about 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. um, and we have all that right here. Um, and I mean, my grandmother baked tea from everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? right. And I think that's what makes Grenada a little bit different. I know there's other islands that have those things as well, but um, we kind of infuse those spices and everything into our cuisine. And I think that um, that makes us just a little bit um, different. 
And what I, what I, you have your fish fry, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> and what I, what I'm doing is kind of um, blending those spices with things that are more traditional, more contemporary, and that's what makes uh, flavors of Grenada different. It's, it's taking the authentic um, cuisine and kind of bringing it into the, the next, de the next um, decade, you know, the, this um, century, and, and, and tweaking it a little bit, making it a little bit. Um, even healthier because you know still um, a couple you know coconut oils you know in, in, instead of the uh, heavy lard you know because right. I think that's something that they did do back um, back then you know we use different flour I, I use breadfruit flour maybe instead of uh, mm. white flour and you know things like that and and so what my my purpose is or what I'm trying to do is to to create the new contemporary cuisine Grenadian cuisine that is my my goal that is healthy that light and uh, flavorful and so I, my tagline is like join the flavor revolution because that's what it is healthy doesn't have to be bland right, right. exactly yeah true and if you eat meat you can do things with meat if you um you're, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian um that doesn't have to be bland either you can mix all these spices together and all these different oils and um and make great sauces and make things flavorful and nutritious and healthy so I can come to Grenada and hire you out for uh, for five course dinner. Then is what you're saying. You can, but you know you don't have to do that. I make it, we're very hospitable. I, no, I just <laughs> asked a question, and the people don't want to know these things. You have to know what, what services you offer. Yes. Well, um, yes, that is one of the services I offer. I do private dining, and and I did that before COVID. So nice. it's quite interesting. now. It's like um, the thing that everyone's doing. But I kind of uh, showcase great um, venues as well. So I, this was one of them. And um, so I, I, I kind of uh, collect like, some great historic venues. And if you like, you can dine in these, in these venues. And, and my company, me and my team can prepare one of these nutritious meals for you. We also do a, a, culinary, a culinary wellness retreat where we go to a lot of these um, different properties as well. And we four to seven days where you come and we do a lot of eating, we do a lot of cooking, we do hiking, um, yoga, um, all the time. Yeah, man. When is that one? Well, I was supposed to have it in May, but right. <laughs> <laughs> then COVID. <laughs> So um, I'm, I'm, I'm regrouping, I'm pivoting, um, but I'm putting a lot of them together at different times. Um, I want to bring a few chefs here because a lot of chefs don't know a nutmeg comes out a tree, you know? Right. Yeah. Comes in a bottle, All so. the people that can cook. Yes. Right. <laughs> so I want to show them what a nutmeg looks like um, and how versatile it can be. And there's, there's, there's three different layers to that. You know, it's the, um, the pod outside, um, it's the... Uh, the mace that's around the shell, yeah, and then the nutmeg in, inside the shell. So all of them you can utilize, and um, they're all amazing for you, help, you know, health wise. So. But the funny one is that people don't realize you can create cocoa. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's the whole next some one. People, yeah. Some people don't know cocoa comes in a pot either. They think. Right. <laughs> Again, the people that can cook. Air quotes. <laughs> right. Yes, and I I, I had um I went to a, a trade show or something like this, and I, I brought a cocoa and a lot of different spices, of course. And this gentleman picked up the cocoa. I was like, "What is this?" And he's shaking it, and I was like, a "Cocoa." He said, "Cocoa like chocolate." I was like, "Yes." He was like, "Can I see the inside?" So I, I opened up the inside, and the inside was white. You know, like, <laughs> he's more confused. <laughs> yes, he was. He was like, "Is that white chocolate?" And I was like, "No." Oh, <laughs> white chocolate ain't chocolate. No, it's not chocolate. <laughs> So um, so then he was like, okay, so chocolate grows on trees. I said, oh my god, yes, it does. <laughs> this is when you put it into the I, I had your whiteboard and start giving me all the information. I tell mm -hmm. you. So I made I made cocoa tea, and people couldn't get their head around that either because I, I I sampled that. They were like, is that just just hot chocolate? I'm like. Yes, but it's got different spice in it, spices in it, and everything as well. We use coconut milk and not milk. And um, I, I had, I think I had so many people saying they're coming to Grenada just to try that. You know, where can they buy it? You know, so um, that I think is it's not different from the other islands. I think, but I think what's different also that you were mentioning here in Grenada, I guess it's the people as well, right? Um, that kind of um, bring it home. And so when I say bring it home. Um, 
be able to like lay out what I'm presenting to you and it's a little different. So it's, it's a combination of the food, obviously, and also, also the hospitality. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you name or let the people know about some of Grenada's authentic dishes, whether it be okay. products, rums, um, cocktails, if you will? I certainly can, I certainly can name rums, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> We have one of our um, uh, Grenada's number one rum, which they call Clark's Court Rum, and, and they make a, a series of rum from passion fruit to coconut to, um, they even have a mint because we grow a lot of mint here also. Which wow, I know that. Yes, um, and mm -hmm. we have a sorrel rum, and we also have, a, of course, a chocolate rum. They make an amazing, also make an amazing spice um, liqueur, Cameron liqueur. It's made from all these lovely spices. and. Um, and we have also a few really boutique um, uh, kind of distillers here. One is called, and they've been in our competition also, um, it is called Hans Brulee Spiced Rum, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, and which, is, which is quite amazing. Mm -hmm. And we also have um, so our first, very first um, gin. It's called Blue Light Gin that's made right here in Grenada. Matter of fact, it's made on these premises where I am. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. And it's, and it's made um, with the blue pea flower, so it is blue, mm -hmm. and um, that's quite interesting. And they incorporate all the spices um, inside of the, the gin as well. They distill it with orange, um, with cinnamon, with nutmeg, and the flavor is, is very different. Mm -hmm. uh, now in se they're now in seven countries um, across the Caribbean, that, that particular um, gin. And as far as food goes, our, our main staple here, our, our traditional dish, um, is oil down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. can you gonna, expound upon that a little bit for the people that might don't know? Then you're gonna ask me. <laughs> <laughs> red food is the main um, ingredient, which I absolutely love. Great red food, so I I operate in everything. But um, so I really love oil down, right? It's coconut, it's turmeric, it's callaloo. Um, some vegetables and they use various meats whichever um, that kind of you know you would like they, they, they have pork in it <laughs> or they can, you can have chicken smoked herring saltfish but um, my favorite is the, um, the vegan version um, without, the, without the meat it's just as flavorful I find okay. and all okay. the one pot dish mm -hmm. and they say it's how you pack the pot Right. right. So, so, you, so it's packed um, where everything kind of steams through. So the most delicate vegetables are on top. Right. So it kind of, it kind of steams up and, and, and cooks um, those vegetables. While the coconut milk and the turmeric is creating this oil sensation mm. at the bottom of the pot. Mm. Oh, delicious. Amazing. <laughs> mm. I know yeah. when I was there in December, um, one of the things I really enjoyed, so we did the fish fry in Guav. And then we did a tour of the Juve Chocolate Factory. Yes, yes, yes. And it was so great, like how we, how Grenada exports its culture, you know, and, and have that as a tourist attraction. So that was really cool. And now hearing about your initiative, it's like you have a whole, I don't know what to call it, but you know, it's a whole initiative or movement, as you call it, to get people engaged in Grenada's culture and Grenada's culture. Yeah, so it's really good. It's really amazing. Yes, and we, we have uh, something else which I think I have to tell you, which is oh, this is this is the really fun part. Um, I have a, a location where you can go into the farm, we pick the vegetables, and it's an uh, outdoor kind of kitchen that I have um, at this location. And um, you get to come with me through that process as the chef, pick those vegetables, and we come back to the open air kitchen and we cook together. And then we feast, and we do a, we do that from six from six to twelve people at a time, and okay. it's almost um, what's part what's part of the culture here in Grenada, specifically oil down. Everybody does a little bit, you know. Everybody right, does. yep. <laughs> so it's very a very social thing. So um, I want to incorporate that so everybody can have that same feeling, and so that's what we do. That we do that in different um, at different farms, but I have one specific one that um, I call my. My home base, and which is absolutely lovely, it's called the Tower Estate. It's an old estate home with a huge, like six acres of land, and mm. where they have a full farm. So when you come, we're gonna definitely do one of those. Um, <laughs> I call it a culinary safari. Yes. Oh, I love it. Love it. <laughs> so hopefully, um, you can get to come real soon. When um, outside open. Yeah. <laughs> outside open. I 
think we're open now to Canada and um, the UK, although I haven't seen many flights. But if you come by boat, um, they, they check you, you're able to come by boat now as well. So if you have mm-hmm. a boat and you know, you're close by, you can sail on over and um, they'll test you before you arrive and then you can join me. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. What is one thing that you love for the world to actually understand and learn about the mixology competition and, and botanists from Grenada and Grenada overall? Well, that we have we have so many things to offer. We have a lot of talented people here. And we, as I was mentioning throughout the program, that we have a lot of great fruits and, and vegetables that we, we can incorporate into um, you know what we eat and drink. And it can be fun. And so I want people to know that um, it can be fun as well and that you can be creative. And a lot of people at home who are watching can actually go and find these, especially if you're in New York or someplace that kind of is multicultural, like a multi pot, you'll be able to find a lot of these things to be able to incorporate and try and um, share at their dinner parties. So I want people to know that, um, because it's why we chose this location also, that um, Grenada is very beautiful. Um, we welcome them every, welcome everybody who comes. We want to give them a little taste of what it looks like and the people in the competition because you'll find how how they how easygoing how fun they are and um, so that's kind of what I want people to know I want people to really come to Grenada and experience for themselves and it, it, I think it's going to come through in the competition tomorrow we have a lot of um, great talent here what's the um, website and so forth to, to see the competition the website you can go to is on Facebook live and it is at uh, uh, Flavors of Grenada Festival. And uh, we also have our website called Flavors of Grenada, spelled F-L-A-B-O-U-R-S of Grenada dot G-D. So it's Flavors of Grenada dot G-D, that is our website. And you could always uh, see us as well uh, on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram and follow us on Facebook. We're also on Twitter. So, and I have a YouTube channel, so you can also go there to see all the past videos of, and this will be, um, competition will be there after we're through. You'll be able to find it there as well if you miss it tomorrow. Definitely looking forward. Definitely looking forward. Looking well, forward Belinda, to- we really appreciate you being an ambassador for Caribbean culture, for Caribbean food, and for healthy living. You know, it's definitely a, a market that we need right now, and we love how you are creating a space for our different talents, um, especially in the culinary space. So once again, and we look forward to just being engaged with your brand and seeing you as you grow. And we'll see you next year for sure. For this free and all these different things coming up. Hopefully sooner. Right. (laughs) So we just had Ambassador 5, Belinda Bishop, with Flavors of Grenada. Thank you. Thank you.